I wonder why it's called a persimmon. Because it's impersimonating a tomato? Oh, there's a bug. Can you see that? Apparently it's higher in fiber than apples. Hopefully it won't give me fiberia. There are two types of persimmons. A soft American kind called hachia, and it's astringent. And then there's a hard Asian kind called fuyu. fuyu. This is fuyu. It's hard like an apple and it looks like a tomato. Let me wash it. You can't see me right now, but I'm washing it. Cut off the foliage. Nailed it. Cut it lengthwise, and there's a reason why. Because it's a star. Look at that meat. This must be how the professionals do it. This has become the longest intro to get to the taste testing part. I understand that, because I'm here too. It's crisp, like an apple. The peel is edible. I like it. I give it five of Sarah's six packs out of six of Sarah's six packs, only because I'd like it to be a little bit sweeter. Surprise, Surprise ending. ending. I'm gonna make persimmon chi chips. You'll need a food dehydrator for this. I just happen to have one conveniently right here. Slap your persimmon on the tray. Mine will probably take forever and a day to dehydrate because you can see they're pretty thick. If you want to expedite the dehydration process, I would suggest you slice yours as thin as a bat's ear. Science. You know what? I should probably remove the skin. Did it. Fruits and leathers. Seven hours later. Ooh, look at that. Cheers. Well, this has been a very productive and fruitful discussion. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of persim persimmon persimmon. And if you haven't tried them yet, try them. Go fruit yourself. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I make videos whenever the f I want.